everybody, it's Gil. Welcome back to another Tuesday grilling video. Today we're gonna do a fun one. You know, I'm getting tired of just doing briskets and ribs and I shouldn't say tired of, they taste wonderful, but every once in a while I just wanna try something different. And this is a really cool smoked nacho recipe. Sure, you could probably do it in your oven, but we're gonna impart some good mesquite flavor into this thing as well. So let me kind of show you what we have here. Um, pretty simple, we need some tortilla chips. I like to get the restaurant style white corn tortillas. That's the ones I prefer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of refried beans. I just have some leftover refried beans that we had had with tacos the other night. And I have um, some cheese, and I'm just using whatever we happen to have. So this was a clean out the fridge cheese drawer thing. There's actually a little bit of Gruyere and Swiss mix, odd for nachos. And then we have um, the Mexican cheese blend, the sharp cheddar. And then I also have some uh, queso fresco, right? So like a Oaxaca crumbling cheese. It's usually in a round disc in a package and you can take it and just break it up and crumble it almost like like feta is kind of what it looks like. But that'll be a really nice finishing flavor on top. It's a lot of cheese. And then we had um, done a smoked chicken um, a couple days ago and this is leftover. All I did was took the chicken off the carcass and bone, it was a whole chicken, and I just shredded it into, you know, small bite-sized pieces. It's gonna be really simple. We're gonna assemble this in a cast iron skillet. Um, this happens to be one with the two handles on the side. It works really good for sticking into the grill or the smoker. So this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna line this thing with the chips, sprinkle a little of the chicken on there, a little bit of the cheese, a little bit of the uh, refrieds, and then I'm gonna put another layer and I'm gonna stand chips up along the side to kind of hold it all in. And then we're just gonna cook it at the probably about 300, 350 degrees using mesquite because I wanna impart um, heavy smoke quickly. And yeah, we'll do it until the cheese is melted and everything's warmed through. That's all we really need to do. Let's get it assembled. Now I've got time to spare, so I'm actually gonna do this so that they are all in a single layer on the bottom. I wanna get all that meat and cheese on kind of every chip instead of the, you know, all the plain chips on the bottom sort of thing, sort of thing you know? No good way to do this, so I'm just gonna take little bits of refried and kind of flip them off of here at the chips so it's not a big pile of it but you get some flavor here and there on them. Hey, 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 right over here. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch, man, appreciate it. All right, I think that looks good. We'll sprinkle on a little bit more of this chicken. Uh, yep, there's probably absolutely zero healthy about this, so just know that right up front. Now we're gonna use a little bit of this uh, Oaxaca, or queso fresco, a nice white crumbling Mexican cheese. All right, so we've got this all prepared and I have to tell you, does that not look phenomenal? <laughs> I just went inside and told my wife, I said, this looks more like one of those seven layer baked dips than it does nachos. Um, but this is gonna be phenomenal. So what we're gonna do is, We'll have the smoker on at 250. I think I'm gonna reduce it a little bit from what I initially said. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this in until all that cheese completely melts. I'll probably probe the temperature down inside just to make sure it's warm all the way through uh, since I won't really know if everything melted down on the bottom. I'm sure it will. If the top's melted, I expect the bottom to be. But we're gonna put this in the pellet smoker uh, with mesquite wood smoking it. Let's get it on. All right, so we've got our grill at 250 degrees, plenty of uh, mesquite pellets in the hopper. We're using mesquite for that good smoky flavor. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on the bottom burner. Now, I've got the sear plate closed, but remember the fire pot's right in the center, and given the size of this cast iron skillet, I'm not gonna be able to get it completely offset. So I'm gonna put it on one side, and then in about 10 or 15 minutes, I'm gonna spin the, the pot around so it doesn't end up with a hot spot just over one section and burn the chips that are on the bottom of this thing. Start by putting it on there. These nachos have been on for about 30 minutes. Every 10 minutes or so I came in and I rotated them around just because I didn't want them to scorch on the bottom. They look really good. Let me kind of show you what this looks like I'm up close here.
But let's give these a try before I bring them on inside to everybody. That ooey gooey cheese. So this will be even better when we bring it inside. We add some sour cream, guacamole, hot sauce, the whole bit. But this is really good. And the smoked chicken that we had left over that we used to, to add to this, just adds an amazing amount of flavor to it. So I hope you guys try this recipe. Really simple, delicious, and it was fun to do. Hope you enjoyed this Tuesday's grilling video all about smoked nachos on the Pit Boss Pellet Smoker. Bye y'all, safe grilling. See ya.